Got a lot of runner, I pull up in a vert It's the middle of December, she pulled up in a skirt I'm just trapping through the snow It's the door when I ate I see only 21 I see only 21 and she a savage My bitch so bad, she made my head a bit look happy She call me daddy, but I am not a daddy I see only 21 and she a savage What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. <laughs> so, you guys, I'm just chilling today. That's just pretty much it. Yeah. What's poppin', y'all? It's currently 12:30 on January the third. Don't mind my bunny, y'all. I'm about to go get cute, get up, you know, get ready to take my shower and stuff. About 10. And so, yeah, for like the past two hours, I've just been, um, I did my skincare routine, um, I just, and I've been watching like YouTube videos and stuff like that. I still haven't ate today, so I'm probably going to go get some food later. Um, probably not nothing too much because tomorrow I am starting a fast, a 21 day fast. Um, you know, you start at the beginning of the year. Um, if you're, um, spiritual, then you know what fast I'm talking about. Um, I'm assuming um i think it's called the daniel's fast i think so during a um you know when you do this fast you also have to give something up so i'm giving up social media not youtube though because of course you know this is kind of like my job per se so i'm not going to give up youtube but i am going to give up instagram and twitter i barely be on snapchat so um i guess you just catch me on snapchat and twitter um I am allowing myself at least one hour a day on Instagram and Twitter just to um make sure I keep my pages active and stuff like that. So I do have a screen limit. Um, you know you can set like app limits. So like if you didn't know that you can do that. You can set you like app limits. At, at, you can set like app limits. So let's say you only want to be on Instagram for like an hour a day. You could do that. You could do five minutes a day. You could do two hours a day. You could do five hours a day. I'm doing an hour a day on Instagram and an hour a day on Twitter. And once that time is up, it'll show up a screen. I'm a screenshot and sh show it to y'all. But it's going to show up a screen that's going to say like, okay, like the time is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See y'all when I get up to wash the wig. So this is the wig I'm about to wash. It's just this curly wig. Um, I just like to put this one on for some reason because it's easy to maintain because y'all know all I got to do is just wet it. So, that's kind of why I'm going to put this on. Yeah. And this is what I be using to wash my wig to let y'all know if you don't watch any of my hair videos, which I am going to start doing more hair videos. But, um, to wash, I only do use two things. Conditioner. Any kind of conditioner is fine. Today, I have the Suave Professionals Strengthening Conditioner. I really like this. I like the way it smells and it's really, really silky and smooth. I love the silky and smooth ones, if that makes sense. I sh like, if I can show it to y'all when I wash the wig, I will. But I don't like the creamy conditions. I like the silky and smooth ones, if that makes sense. I don't know. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. And then I use silicone. Now, this right here is one of their ones, okay? This right here will have your wigs. And your hair feeling real, real soft and smelling good. They say you're not supposed to use it on your hair, but I use it on both my wigs and my hair. Yeah, it's only like five dollars. But this this works. I just like to let it soak in silicone. Let the wig soak in silicone, and y'all just try this, and you're gonna see why I love it a lot.
All right, so there we go. So, excuse the little thing that's right there. I'm trying to get it to like where it's no shadows on my face, but it looks like it's about to be some shadows on my face. But anyway, so here it is, January 3rd, the third day of 2021. And you guys, I am like, I just really want to talk to y'all like really, really quickly because y'all know I love to talk to y'all. But I don't know. I feel like this year is about to be so different for me. Um, I'm learning so, 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 so much in this year already and um i just want to talk to you guys because y'all know i love to chit chat with you guys and just talk to you guys but i just want to talk to you guys on protecting your energy and not allowing everyone in your space because that can definitely definitely cause your energy to mess up and cause you to uh, i wish this thing just wasn't in the way like what <laughs> i can't focus but yes yeah, like uh, I know what I didn't do. I didn't put no. Hold on, y'all, cause your girl is looking greasy by the forehead, and we don't do that. Yeah, we gotta, cause I was looking too greasy. Hold on. You cannot put so high expectations on people just because you're close to them, or just because they're your close friend, or just cause they're your family member, just because they're your boyfriend, they're your girlfriend, or whatever the case may be. Never get to the point to where you are putting high expectations on people. Because when you put high expectations on people and they fail you, then you start to question yourself because you feel like you done did something wrong. And no, that's not always the case. So all I'm saying is just be mindful of who you keep in your circle, who you um who you associate yourself with, you know what family members you choose to go around, period. Y'all, all that plays a big part. And I feel like, you know, today's Sunday, so I'm getting a little preachy. But I feel like God has definitely showed me that I don't always need every single body in my life. And I felt as if I was getting too dependent on people. and Or not even getting too dependent on people, but expecting things, ex putting expectations on people just because they're my family member just because they're my friend that they're not going to do me like this and trust and believe the people that you think not going to do you like that they they're capable of doing you like it. i'm not saying all of them but they're capable of doing it and so you just have to trust god that every decision he makes and every person he chooses to take away from your life is all in its purpose it's it's a purpose for everything and um, that's just pretty much what I've been learning and I've been learning also God has keep God continues to put me in the position to be alone and at first I didn't like it I remember like when I first started to realize like okay I'm losing all these people in my life and it's like ugh, like and sometimes I be feeling cursed like on some crazy stuff like I be feeling cursed like I feel like everybody I get close to eventually goes away like um so nowadays my guard is up i try not to get too close to people i try not to you know do all of that because it's you know i just it's it's crazy last couple of years like when i graduated high school has just been so different and i know it's because i'm growing i'm becoming an adult now so everything is not gonna be how it was when i was like 10 years old going outside to play like what it's not gonna be like that no more you know I'm grown. You guys have to keep an eye open on everybody and everything because some people are just there. True fact of the matter, some people are just there. You have to be okay with accepting the fact that some people are only in your life. That uh, everybody that comes into your life is not permanent. Some are temporary. I'm trying to like <laughs> some are temporary. Everybody that comes into your life is not permanent. And when their time is up, you just have to be okay with letting them go period i don't care who it is family member friend boyfriend girlfriend whoever you have to be okay with letting them go because if you cannot like i said on my um instagram story you cannot grow in the same spot so apparently if god is saying like you know hey step back from this person maybe it'll come back stronger I'm just so grateful for it, honestly because i feel like the the fact that i've been alone and the fact that i'm so independent is just it speaks volumes for itself you no know, just talk to you guys real quick about that because that's just been on my mind and like i be really wanting to like real deal like you know tell you guys how i truly and honestly feel about so much stuff that just goes on and it's like and it's crazy and it's like i like i said i'm definitely going to um definitely want to like 
continue to vlog like this and like i said i really don't be doing anything for the most part but youtube so like i have to get more creative with my videos and stuff like that which is fine it's okay so as so you know i'm getting more creative and you know doing what i do <laughs> and you know we're gonna be on this journey together people who feel alone like this is weighing heavy on my in my heart right now if you feel alone know that you're not alone somebody out there loves you somebody out there cares about you and like i said i'll go in more in depth about this later but right now we're gonna go get something to eat even if i go eat later i'm kind of hungry now i need some small so y'all yeah, since we was going to go to waffle house i'm just gonna go to waffle house by myself oh my gosh this sun bright um i guess i gotta vibe like this Oh my dad. Oh my left hand. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna just go to Waffle House by myself and just sit there. I don't even want to take it to go. I kind of want to take it to go. No, I kind of want to take it to go and just go eat and just go watch my little show and stuff like that. But then again, I kind of just don't even want to be in the house right now. I don't like this because I feel like the same thing is going to keep happening every time, you know, I continue to move forward. It's just going to continue to be a set. It's going to continue to be a setback because I haven't fully healed or I haven't fully accepted things, you know, in my life. So I'm 100% going to therapy. Um, I don't know when I'm going to start. I will keep you guys updated, but I definitely think it's needed because, you know, right now all i need is healing and prayers for my relationship with god and just healing for the most part because it is imperative that we do that <laughs> from time to time especially because a lot of stuff that i'm still holding on to it's like dead weight and i cannot can't grow in, like i said i can't grow in the same spot so in order for me to do that i have to truly let go of what's bothering me and heal from that so I can truly, 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 truly receive my blessings. And so, yeah, I just feel like, you know, me holding on to something has just been blocking my blessings. So I'm going to a therapist and I'm so excited about it, honestly. I'm just excited anyways. I feel like a lot of stuff is different. It's about to be different. Um, I think I'm, I'm just, I'm just through with a lot of situations i'm i'm done with a lot of uh, a lot of situations a lot of people because i continue to feel like i hurt myself when i allow people to come back into my lives after they've done me wrong and i'm not that's just i'm not doing that no more Ooh, if you fuck up with me you just fuck up with me and ain't no coming back from that but i kid you not this is me i'm the type of person where i continue to let people treat me however and then i and i don't say nothing i just take take them back i'm not even talking about relationship wise i'm talking about relationship i'm talking about everything relationship wise friend wise family wise i continue to let people do me wrong and i take them back they do me wrong i take them back they do me wrong i take them back and eventually you keep poking at a balloon, that balloon is going to bust. You keep filling up a cup, that cup is going to overflow. And so when I react the same way, they look at it as crazy or something like that. No, people have breaking points. And I'm truly done with a lot of stuff. Like I'm done with a lot of people. I'm done with a lot of situations because I continue to put myself in those positions. And I continue to, I'm only hurting myself, honestly. So that's just my little spiel for today y'all i'm sorry this was supposed to be up and out type of vibe which it still is i'm gonna go in waffle house right now and go grab me something to eat by myself because that's what i want to do that's what i feel like is necessary so yeah that's what i'm about to go do see y'all when i get inside
All right, y'all, so I just finished Waffle House. I'm in the car. Why am I in the car to kind of heat up? Because it kind of got a little bit... It kind of got a little bit cold now because it's getting a little later. It's 422. I'm about to just go home. And I guess I can go ahead and start looking at my classes and stuff for next semester. Because like I told y'all, I'm late on registering. And I've never been late before. So, yeah, I'm going to see y'all when I get home. I'll okay, tell y'all. I'm back at the house. <laughs> so yeah, I'm back at the house. Let me put my own light on so I can kind of see me a little bit better. Yeah. But I'm back at the house. Yes, I still got my tree up in the January 3rd. I don't care. I will take it down at the end of this week because I really liked it. Like I really worked hard. And then I put my little presents on there. I really worked hard on that tree. So it's gonna stay up until about the end of the week. My mama says she's not taking the one in the living room too, because she liked that one too. <laughs> like we really did like a good job on our trees. We really put them up late because we put them up at like right the beginning of december when i think like they supposed to be up like right before thanksgiving or something like that i don't know i don't think it's no set time for real but it will be coming down at the end of this week just not now because i really really like it but um yes yeah, so i still i didn't even show y'all but i still got a whole plate of waffle house left like my appetite is so small that's the, that's one thing it's like my appetite small but if i eat if i eat i'm gonna gain weight it's like, oh, I don't, I don't understand. That's something I, I've never understood about myself. Like, literally, literally, I could eat this much and be okay and be full. So I still got a whole plate of waffle house. I will probably just either eat it, late, eat it later on today. But um, I think it's like, it's like four some five something. And yeah, I'm just about to probably watch YouTube or watch Netflix for a little minute. Really, in all actuality, I need to be picking out these classes because tomorrow you guys know i'm getting advised for my spring semester which i really really waited too late <laughs> like why would i do something like that so yeah i'm about to chill i'm not gonna just watch youtube and pick out my classes but honestly though y'all i really don't i looked at it and i really don't know what classes to really really pick but i'm so on top of everything every time i come to him to get advised i already have all my list of classes now so it's just like easy peasy but I don't want him to think I just been BS and I haven't been, you know, looking at, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm gonna look over and try to get as many classes as I can get, but he probably will have to help me find the rest. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna talk to you guys when, I don't know. Cause that's pretty much all I gotta do for the rest of the day. That we use to go in to see like what classes we need to take and stuff. So I tried to log into the new portal and however, it doesn't work <laughs> you gotta have a username and a password and so i tried my username and passwords that i use for all my other school stuff and it still didn't work so i had to just go to look at drop classes on cam not canvas but banner web and i kind of found i think i found like three or four on there so he might have to help me with the other half tomorrow so fingers crossed he do but yeah, yeah, I'm probably gonna warm up my Waffle House. I'm gonna show it to y'all. I have so much Waffle House love. And watch my show. I finished Tiny Pretty Things, and y'all, now I am on. What am I on now? Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Yeah, I'm on like the first episode still. First or second. It's okay. It's not a bad show, but it ain't one of my favorites. But it's something to watch until the hype go down about power because i want to watch power but i have to start all the way back from the beginning and <laughs> they've just been talking about everything so i'm gonna kind of catch up probably starting sometime this week because i really want to watch that because i feel left out and i hate feeling left out on shows which is why i be watching like all the shows that twitter be telling me on netflix they be like y'all need to watch this or if i see too many people tweeting about it i'm gonna watch it and i've seen a lot of people tweet about bridges and so that's why i'm watching it now so we're gonna hope I'm going to see y'all when, um, in a second.